back with Rosine. We actually got to fire her truck up. We are running to Devin's shop again because we're going to be doing some work on the old D-Max in her truck and the other Cummins. So we're going to let it cycle and get it fired up. And also, this is pretty exciting. I'm looking to get another dually again. I'm wanting another dually so bad. Ever since I got rid of my dually and didn't really like, get rid of it, I gave my dually away to a loyal subscriber and fan. And even though he already won a truck, he still continues to buy the merch and like the videos and watch the stuff and comment. Like he's still like just been like, oh, this is all my supporters. Um, they've still always continued to participate and do all this stuff, even though they already won a truck. You know what I mean? Um, they're just doing it because they're just like they're just a part of the team, a part of the family. They just love being involved, and I love that. I love those types of people, and uh, they are just really the people that make this stuff happen so huge shout out to all my winners and all my supporters and you know, all the people who are going to be winning and the people who are entering the giveaways and watching the videos all that stuff means the world to me super excited and uh yeah by the way you could be winning a 2008 lmm duramax there are only four days left information in the description below enter while you can every 15 dollars gets you another entry to win don't miss out there she goes we're going to mount this piece in there which is from really custom fab but yeah so what we're going to try to do today for this first video here is run this first gen now i did grab i did grab those parts by the way devin cool. i grabbed some four inch flex pipe which is for the exhaust system down here and then once that's pieced together we might put the hood on and then after that we might take her on down the road here. Now this truck's still gonna be getting head studs and valve springs. How long the truck might hold up? Well, I don't know. None of us really know. Because mileage is uncertain. Engine condition is uncertain. <laughs> How long do you think it lasts, Evan, with head studs? I, I don't know. It just depends if we turn the fuel up or the boost up. Yeah. We'll see. I think with what it's pushing now, um, I think if we left it alone right now and built the tranny, we would do really good and probably get maybe a year out of it, maybe. But if we fix the rear main seal, it's just gonna pop again. Yeah. And all the blow by, but no, um, other than that, I think, I think if we, I think it just depends. If we do really a lot of burnouts and cool stuff with it, it won't last long. But you know, if so, I mean, hey. Or, it, or she could surprise us, you know. You yeah, never know. I know. I think she'll get a year if we don't turn it up, but I say we turn it up. And just... Turn it up and just find out. <laughs> yeah, so we're going we're gonna to get to piece in that uh, flex pipe on there with lamps. Get the hood on and fire it up. Devin and I got the hood on the truck and it looks complete once again. It does look pretty good. I'm super excited. And we do have the flex pipe that we're going to be putting on here. We just got to make some cuts on this piping down here, as Devin pointed out, so it'll fit. And then on the flexi pipe itself, so it'll clamp up easily, nice and even. And then we're going to be ready to go and get this thing out on the road. You guys are going to see the first thing running in the daylight. Thing's awesome!
left one. So we are in the first gen for the first time with the compound turbo kit. I keep saying twin turbo in the in the titles just to get people's attention, but it's a compound turbo kit, technical term. The injectors, I don't even remember what size because I bought them so many months back when I was intending on building this. But compound turbo injectors, uh, governor spring kit, the valve spring kit, and the headsets are going in probably tonight, but. building a play truck, just a fun truck that might leak some oil, stuff like that. But we're not here to build something perfect, we're just here to build something that's kind of fun. That was the first drive in this truck. It's not a perfect truck. That's not the purpose of this build. Just a little fun truck. Now, the truck really technically does need some transmission assistance to be able to use the power, because you can tell this truck wants to go so bad, but that trans is just holding it back. But we'll get to things that we want to get done on it little by little. Oh man, it's a freaking ton of fun. So much fun. So much fun. Now, look at that dude. Freaking nice. There's Devin's bourbon. Now, we're going to go inside and see what, uh, see what Devin's got going on in there. Well, we enjoyed our little joy ride in the first gen. Devin's finishing up the intake kit from World of Custom Fab on the Duramax. The dirty, the dirty. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little rip in the first gen. That was a lot of fun. Did you get those couple launches on the pad on video? Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, the burnout you leave right in front of their shop. I'm not sure they're gonna be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, Devin. Yeah. Is, is it a problem that there's a burnout mark on the pad? What? Is it a problem that there's a burnout mark on the pad? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Saturday there's going to be a 600 horse Camaro here, so... Oh, yeah? But that's getting a nitrous kit put on it.
Rosine's about to get a set of high heels, ain't she? Oh yeah? Man, that truck looks so good. Start? No, you can, uh, yeah, no, you can start it up and pull it in. I can wrap this up after you're in the shop. So here's the Dirty Max, guys. Last, actually, I think last three days, last three full days to enter to win this truck. Not that one, this one. It's a 2008 LMM Duramax. I'm gonna show you the Whirly Custom Fab stuff under the hood and we still have some traction bars coming in for this truck. Now I just went with the basics under the hood here. I didn't go with all kinds of crazy fancy stuff. But just some uh, eye candy. Some Whirly Custom Fab piping over there, the upper coolant pipe. Really custom fab intake. It's by the way, their website link will be down below. Go check them out, let them know that I sent you. And they don't just only sell Duramax stuff. I know that they're known for their Duramax stuff. They have stuff for LB7s, LLYs, LBZs, LMMs, LMLs, L5Ps, all that stuff. I mean, everything. But uh, they definitely do still have some stuff for Cummins trucks and some other stuff, I believe but they are definitely known for their Duramax stuff. So go check them out. They make some really cool stuff, really cool parts. And uh, their, their value for their products is actually very, very reasonable given that it comes powder coated and stuff with the options you can pick out. And uh, compared to some of the other stuff out there that's not quite as nice and durable, but still pricey, uh, this stuff is definitely a lot better bang for the buck in my opinion. Um, definitely go check them out. Links in the description below. And you can see how it just, it goes with the paint of the truck very, very nicely in the right lighting. It's just like you can kind of see the lighting in the shadow here compared to the shadow there, right there. You could hardly tell the difference between this paint and that paint because obviously this is brand new and this truck's 11 years old. So there's a slight difference, but go check them out. Links below. Do not forget that you guys have three and a half days basically by the time you see this video left to enter to win this 2008 LMM Duramax. Do not miss out. Information in the description below. Every $15 you spend gets you another entry to win, and you can be taking this truck home next week. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.